What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Sorry about that interruption. Let's jump right back into the importance of a channel like this and the other resellers channels. Um, I was speaking today that I went to a thrift store and a guy was telling me his dreams behind the register. That was a manager there. He worked himself up to a management position. And what he was doing is he was going around and telling people that didn't have a vision, his vision. And you can't do that. You guys, if you tell somebody your reselling dream that is working at a 9 to 5, 99 out of 100 times they're going to shoot you down and say it's not possible. So I think it's very important to have a structured group like this. Um, and all the other re great resellers, Chris uh, from Daily Refinement, Tech and Sports, Rally Roots, Harry Tornado. It's so important to be watching them guys. And I'm not trying to promote for them guys nor myself. But you're going to go through times of your reselling journey where you're going to doubt yourself. But there's not a spot that you're going to go into that we haven't been at at one time. Right? Uh, now, I started a new store, guys, about 11 months ago-ish. Right? And we got it to $10,000 in sales a month consistently. And it's growing still. The thing is, is if I would have been doing the amount of items I'm doing today for the past 11 months, we'd be way further ahead. But that's not the point, guys. The point is having these, having these groups right here will let you know you're not the only one out there, guys, with the idea of reselling, right? Reselling is, <laughs> the industry's picking up, guys. Competition is becoming more. And if you start doubting yourself and you're talking to people, and I'm not judging anybody with a 9 to 5 whatsoever. That's their life. That's their dreams. Um, I don't really believe it's their dreams. It's just what they settled for. But the truth is, guys, is you can't go around telling everybody what you're doing when you're a reseller. Because, like I said, 99 out of 100 people, if they're not doing the same thing you're doing, they're not going to see your vision. And it's not up to them to see your vision, guys. So I think the importance, that's what I like to bring to uh, reselling, is some encouragement and some motivation. And let you guys know, as well as me, that you're not alone. There's other resellers out here with these dreams that are achieving it, guys. There's people out there making sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars a month reselling on eBay, guys. You can do the same thing. Are you going to start out like that? No, you're not going to. But you can build yourself up, right? Uh, we, I have big goals. I want at least twenty people working for me within the next ten years. That means a lot has got to change, you know, from where I am at now. Um, I got a quadruple, way more than that, my income right now. And the only way to do that is hire. But the truth is, guys, I value I value watching other people's videos because it lets me know in the back of my mind I'm not the only one down here reselling items, right? I resell seven days a week. Um, I've even had my fiance uh, in tell me that you know, you know, people say, "Man, you're crazy. You work seven days a week. You work from the time you get up till the time you go to bed." That's because I'm shooting for my dreams. I want to be the best provider I can be for the wonderful fiance I have. You know, things of that nature. You know, when you start. When people start saying you're nuts, you're working a lot, then you're starting to go towards your dream, right? You're start you're gonna start attaining it because if people are gonna say like, yeah, you're strong Monday through Wednesday, but Thursday and Friday, Justin, don't do nothing. You're, you're never gonna get to your dreams doing that. You're never gonna get to your full potential doing 50, 60 percent. I'm telling you that now. It's never gonna happen in reselling. So if you've seen these guys are talking about making forty thousand dollars a month. Uh, on eBay, trust me, their first year or two was hardcore dedication at work. There's no easy ticket. You're going to find a certain item that's just going to make you millions and millions of dollars, right? The, you know, I mean, there are items out there like that. Um, but first of all, most resellers, this is for most guys. I know there's resellers out there that start with a shit ton of capital, right? With millions of dollars of capital. Well, then, yeah, you can buy millions of dollars of cell phones from the main distributor and sell nothing but cell phones. And you can make that kind of money, right? But I'm talking about the majority of us here, guys. Let's, let's all be honest with ourselves. Uh, the majority of us aren't starting out with tens of thousands, of hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? Um, we're starting out with the bare minimum, maybe in your closet like we did. We started out in our closet, um, and then we took a $20 bill, and the $20 bill we spent, none of it sold. It's actually still on the shelf somewhere around here. Um, but you, you, you learn as you go, and that's, again, guys, these groups, I feel, are very valuable to resellers, right? They're probably not going to be valuable to somebody that, of course, they're not going to. Like like uh, somebody that's building a basketball career. It would, it's going to be almost pointless for me to watch what they're talking about, other than the discipline and the determination, right? Because you got to have that in anything you're going to. But I think it's strong that we stick together, guys. So please hit the like button if you like the content that I've been creating lately. And subscribe. That way you can see my latest videos. I'm trying to release videos every single day. 
Sometimes it don't happen, guys. I get I get wrapped up in uh, too long of a day, um, either sourcing and listing items, and I we have a life as well. You know, we have a family. So bear with me. I'll try to get out as much content as I can. I thank you all so far for subscribing. I thank you all for joining the Facebook group that we have that has 2,300 people in it and is growing every single week. Uh, it was growing a lot faster, but that's because I allowed just anybody to come in, and I really want to filter through that. Because anytime you're in ty any type of sales and stuff, you guys got to be careful of scammers out there. They're all trying to get your information and dictate your every move, and you just got to be leery of that, right? So um, I made it a private group where you got to ask to join um, and ask to post an item. I'm not doing that to be a jerk to the, to the uh, subscribers that are already in the group because I want all you guys to share, right? I want everybody to share. Um, but well, I'm doing that because if I don't do that, I'm going to be deleting 90 posts a day that says, hey, look at my product on eBay. That's not what this group's designed for, guys. That's not what my channel's designed for. Uh, this channel is designed to help encourage others and teach each other, right? Let's teach each other. Let's help each other out through the ups and through the downs because there's going to be times where you hit really good and you might not know what to do to it. You might get excited. You go spend a bunch of money on yourself and you shouldn't have did that yet, right? Um, I've been guilty of that, right? We purchased, I, I, I'll say it again, we purchased a, a motorcycle where I probably shouldn't have, but it gave me something to even work harder towards. Um, have a vision board like we do here in the back. I got a vision board. Why? Because there's certain days I'm like, what am I even reselling for, right? I, got, I can just sit down today if I wanted to. But no, I don't because I got, I got dreams. I got visions. And I encourage you guys to have a vision board. I didn't really want to make this video that long. I started it. Uh, we were giving away some free office chairs. Uh, I just didn't want them anymore, and I didn't. I don't like to throw things away if somebody else can use them. So that's why the uh, video got interrupted, guys, and I made a new video. But yeah, so if you, if you want to see more content like this, guys, I, I usually talk about motivating the discipline. I show uh, items that we get. Uh, you know, if you guys would like to see videos of me out thrifting, it's not that exciting. I, I, I shop for a lot of vintage clothes. Uh, I shop for a lot of sweaters and a lot of pair of denim jeans and uh, shoes. I don't think it's too exciting looking for them things, right? Um, I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe some of you guys do want to see what type of items I'm looking for. Uh, anywhere from uh, usually $30 and below. Sure, we got some higher-end items on our store, but I don't go all high items because um, you, you, the more value your product is, the, the bigger risk of scammers are. Trust me, I've done it. Uh, through and through. Uh, I got a $100 return coming back right now saying that a jersey is uh, unauthentic. I'm not saying the, the person's going to do this, but I could get an unauthentic jersey back to me and him keep the uh, authentic one. Um, it's a common scam. It happens. Uh, it don't happen to me often, but it has happened to me in the past. So if you guys want to see more of the content, please hit that little red subscribe button so you can spot, see uh, when I release a new video. Thank you guys all. You guys have a blessed day. And, and remember, the number one thing, guys, is get your listings up every single day. If you don't do anything else in the day throughout your business, get your listings up. Uh, everybody, everybody wants a successful reselling business, but all they like to do is shop and get products. That's backwards. You're, you're going backwards. If you should be listing just as many items as you're shopping for, right? Uh, give or take. You know, it depends on how big your, your inventory is. I like to have a couple few weeks month or two of inventory and back stock and no that's not a death pile because i dig out 35 of them every single day now if you got a pile that's just sitting there and it's doing no good that's what you that's what you call a death pile uh, get rid of it do something liquidate it something but you should be getting as much you should be doing way more listing than you're doing shopping there's no way you should be doing more shopping than you are listing and if that's the case you just have a shopping addiction you're just addicted to the shopping part right that's most people's excitement in reselling. It was mine for about the first year. Now, I just wish it would just land on my porch and I didn't have to shop at all for it, right? Because I, I, I don't go out and look for, you know, uh, jewels anymore. If I find them, yeah, I'll pick them up. But my main items are selling from $10 and $30. That's what it is. Not everything in between 10 and 30 I got items up for 11 I got items up for 9 I got 10 14 20 22 And, and that's what you, a lot of people want to every... Every item they get, they want it to hit the jackpot, right? And it depends on your model. But, you know, I, I, I want $1,000 a day. That, that's my goal is to have $1,000 in sales in a day. And in order for you to do that with uh, jackpot items, I'm going to have to find 35 jackpot items every time I go out and list. It's going to be next to impossible. I will have to travel for 10 hours a day to do that, right? There's no way I'm going to be able to find. And we got a lot of thrift stores in our area. 
But there's no way in the world I'm going to be able to find 35 home runs every single day. It'll never happen. So you guys got to get some bread and butter items too. And your bread and butter should be 90% of your business. That's my opinion. That's what's working for us. We are not at the $1,000 a day in sales yet, but we're getting pretty close. It's pretty steady between four to six. You guys can do the same thing. All we're doing is going out and finding mall brand clothes and reselling them, guys. Uh, now, you know, I don't, I try not to go out and find items with blue gold holes in them unless they're vintage from the 70s or 80s or something. And I still feel like they would be worth money. Um, so I am looking for good quality items. Uh, you know, I, I'm going to do some tips on, uh, uh, you know, getting out there and promoting yourself and letting people know what you do. Because that is, I think that is one of the defining moments in our business when people started knowing what we do we hand them a business card they know how to contact us when they get uh, more clothes or want to make a little extra money they contact us it saves you a ton of time from sourcing guys all right it's your boy flip the soup i hope you guys have a rocking night and don't forget to get your li if you didn't get your listings up yet just get off the couch right now put the cheetos down put the ramen noodles put whatever you're smashing down put the remote down go to your listing area and get your amount of items up. You still have time. You still got time today. So if you haven't done it yet, don't get down on yourself yet. Just go get it done. I'm off to listening. Have a blessed day.